Hello folks, it's Kobe from KobeWright.com and yesterday I sent down an email to y'all asking and at the end of it I asked if you had any questions to send, me, send them back to me and I would see if I could answer them as far as internet marketing was concerned and so far one of the first responses that I got back was from Jenny. Jenny's from Australia and Jenny's question was how how to create an e-cover and how to create an e-cover and attach it to the product well a lot of folks will use programs like Photoshop or GIMP or other things to do this me personally I've never opened up Photoshop I've never used it never even wanted to use it because it costs several hundred dollars and there's a huge learning curve I don't want to pay $200 or something and then had to spend years learning how to use it and still maybe not know how. I do use GIMP some because it's a free open source program and I've gotten decent at using it. I can do some of the basic stuff but I definitely can't do 3D and stuff like that. So when it comes to creating an e-cover I do have a little secret that I use and, that, and I don't have to use Photoshop or GIMP. Here's my secret. E-cover creator. And this thing is awesome. With this, I can create a cover in just a few minutes with, with really uh, any work at all. You don't, I'm not very techy myself, so this is great. This is a godsend to me. Really, all you need to do is be able to click and top. And since you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you can do that. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we do it. It's easy. You click Create Cover. Then we're going to go to Launch Editor. And that's going to bring up this. And you have four styles to choose from. My favorite one is Classic. Today we're going to be doing one for my list building WSO. And I've already done it twice making this video and for some reason Cam Studio keeps messing up and not saving the video. Hopefully it'll work this time. So let's go to Classic, which is my favorite. And we'll hit send. It's going to bring this up, which you're about to see. Taking its sweet time. Here it is. Awesome. This is where we make our cover. As you can see, it's very easy, very simple. We'll start at the bottom here. I'm going to take out this, and I'm just going to use the same text right here. for my website because the other text doesn't really show up and this text barely shows up. Same with this. Get it out of the way. We won't be using it for this. Simply highlight it and hit the delete key. That's all I did. Now I'm going to highlight it. I'm just going to top my, w my new WSO or the one I'm about to release. Type the title in here. 1,023 subscribers in 27 days. And that looks kind of crowded. So I'm just going to simply use the arrow key and go back to the beginning. Maybe it's not letting me. Oh, I went back too far. And I'm going to hit the enter key just to space it down some. Come on, computer. Oh, I hit the shift key. <laughs> uh, see, if I can do this, you can do this. I'm not a genius by any means. And then just type a little, you know, catchphrase or something up here if you want. I'm going to put discover two secret tech two secret techniques to list building. Or two secret list building techniques. How about that? Ta da, that easy. Then you just simply pick your color. Go with this. Pick some overlay effects. Let's go with dark gradient, bright lots, applesauce, and blurry lot. Down here, you can choose your texture if you want. I'm going to go with grunge spray and retro bubbles. I'm just clicking on. That's all I'm doing is clicking. I'm not doing anything else. Down here, there's header and footer options if you want them. 
Here's the color if you want to choose them. No, I don't want to choose the color. Here's what it looks like. There's a solid. There's a swirl. Down at the bottom. Footer. Solid. Swirl. I'm not going to use those just because they kind of get in the way. Here's some other cool stuff down here. You can add barcode, DVD, symbol, review, five stars. Bestseller. That's kind of cool. And free ribbon is really awesome if you got it making it for a free report. We're going to do the five star review. And we're going to do a barcode. I love the barcode. And this one's really cool too. The DVD symbol. Look. Ta-da! Isn't that awesome? But of course it's in a DVD, so. And once I've done that, all I do is hit save your new 3D graphic. <clears throat> which I've already done two times, so I'm not going to do that again. I'm just going to pull this tab up. We're going to go back. Take that back. Let's stay there. I'll go back to the wizard. My computer's running slow. I've got a lot of programs opened up. Okay, then we'll head on, click on cr create 3D cover. And then we will find the cover that we just created. These are all covers. This, this is not me. This is all ones I did for a client whenever I was doing freelancing work. I used GIMP to make those. That's another cool thing, though. If you do know how to use GIMP for Photoshop, you can make the flat cover and then import it in here to actually attach it to the book. Get that cool 3D effect. Here's, here's what we want. Find it, and we're going to click on this. Use this cover. It's going to load this for us. Really awesome. Really awesome stuff here. Look at all this cool stuff that you can choose from. All these options. And watch how cool it is. We're just going to click it, and it will automatically just slap it right onto the our, our cover onto the, the so-called book. The 3D book. Look at that. Boom. It slaps right on there. Isn't that cool? It looks just like a real book. Look at the other ones. Hardbook cover. So real. Look at that. So real. Modern DVD case. I used this one on one of my WSOs, even though I didn't end up not using the image at all. But I made it nonetheless. There's a DVD case. That one's really cool. Think how cool it would be to show your friends this with your name on it. My friends think it's cool. Of course, they're easily impressed. This one's awesome. This is the magazine style. It's awesome for free reports. Extra DVD case. This one's kind of flat. It doesn't have a lot of 3D to it, but look how cool the CD is. I can never do that in GIMP for Photoshop, which I can't use Photoshop at all. I'd never be able to use that in GIMP. This one's really cool and, and unique PC monitor style. And the last option is the new CD case, which is like a physical CD. Again, with the real realistic looking CD sticking out here. And it just pops it right on. For this one, I'm going to use the soft cover. Stick it right there, and then I just simply come to the bottom and in the name list building WSO cover and then click save as PNG and then it will give you a link and when you click on the link here's what I, we just made see how easy that was see how easy, look how realistic it looks, we got shadows down here got creases in the book everything. It's got that sway effect. I could never do that with GIMP. And, and what's awesome is it just barely took us, what, a few minutes? A few minutes to do that. And look how professional it looks. Very, very professional. Granted, it's not the, the, mo it's not the most graphically enhanced thing you'll ever see, but for what it took us to do, that is really awesome. And not having to use anything but clicking and typing, that's awesome. Now, how much is this software? You're going to be surprised. Very, very surprised. This software is $9.95. Scroll all the way down. $9.95. Wow, that's less than it costs to get a knee cover created, unless you use like Fiverr, and then that's two. There is one downside. One downside, and it's not really a downside. It's not really a downside for most of us right here you have to have your own server and your own your own hosting and your own domain I mean, you have to have your own domain and your own hosting that's what I mean to run this and it's simple to install very very simple I'm not techie at all it took me no time at all I had no problems whatsoever if you do have problems Mark has a great guy to take care of it in an instant um, but, the, but the upside to that is 
you don't have a so-called software. You don't have to worry about your computer crashing and losing it. You don't have to worry about um, your laptop getting stolen or the anything getting a virus because it's on on your server. It's actually on your hosting. You know, it's not a software, so to speak. So you can access it from anywhere in the world, from any computer. You can have your assistants or freelancers access it. Awesome. What I did with this software when I first got it was I made gigs on Fiverr. And I sold several of them at $5, and they paid for this. And I even, in those e-covers that I showed you a while ago, for the client, that earned me over $100. So this software is very, very profitable. For, been very profitable for me, and it's paid for itself several times over. Not to mention how much money I've saved just by being able to create an e-cover and not having to wait on the freelancer to deliver the work. Oh, that's so frustrating, waiting and waiting. I just go and credit myself and have it done in a few minutes. So I hope that you've learned something in this video. Um, there is a link to this software underneath this video, so go check it out now. Uh, that's all I got for you. I'll be making a few more to help you out with this, so talk to you then. This is Kobe Wright signing off.